Let's go! The SEC would be smart to say no to Florida State. Are you freaking kidding me? There are red flags all over the Seminoles trying to get out of the ACC. So comment down below if you would like Florida State to be a part of the conference. Obviously, there's a lot going on in the world of college football with Oregon and Washington going to the Big Ten, but we are focusing mostly on the fighting Deion Sanders, right? Even though he's the coach at Colorado. Still, um, look, I understand Florida State coming up will be playing my dear beloved favorite team. This is nothing against uh, the upcoming matchup. It should be a legendary game, and I've been able to make a lot of friends uh, in the Florida State community, but there is just so much here that just doesn't make sense for honestly either side. The first thing, obviously, is the news that came out today that J.P. Morgan is going to potentially be involved with the process of Florida State getting out of their GOR and getting out of the ACC to join another conference. Um, anytime private equity gets involved with anything like this, and we have honestly seen this in sports media, I've seen a lot of my friends lose their livelihoods when, you know, the big banks get involved or when, you know, a big person comes in to, to help bail you out of a situation monetary-wise, uh, it doesn't turn out to be good. Now, that's not me saying that there isn't other shady money involved in college football when it comes to uh, different programs and teams and all of that, but this just screams desperation here from Florida State. Now, I've always been very clear about this. I am not the absolute best when it comes to uh, college football money and when it comes to the business of college sports because, honestly, financials in college athletics is very complicated, right, with the nonprofit status of the NCAA and all the non-revenue-making sports being funded by the revenue-making sports College athletics, the business model has always been the most flawed that we've had pretty much in all the sports. And this is just another example of that where pretty much everybody is just trying to make the most money possible and it's ripping apart the sport as we see it. But the truth is, and I'm normally like this with pretty much anything, when you sign a contract, that is the contract, right? And Florida State is locked in with the ACC until 2036. Now, of course, they could buy their way out of it. And, of course, there are other teams, not just Florida State, but Clemson that might be looking to bolt. And, obviously, Florida State and Clemson would like a bigger piece of the revenue pie because what those two bring in compared to, let's say, a Boston College, um, is, is it, it pales in comparison, right, in terms of television eyeballs. So... Still, you know, I understand when it gets into a slippery slope of morality and money and all of that. I, I'm just saying the SEC, I would stay away from Florida State for that reason, first of all. The second off reason is, yes, Florida State is an absolutely massive brand. Probably one of the ten biggest that we have in the world of college football. But do you really need them? You already have the Florida Gators. You already have, you know, a big Florida team uh, from that market. Now, obviously, Florida is a lot like Texas. It's big enough to have two teams in the SEC. Hank, Mississippi has two teams in the SEC. But I just don't feel it is necessary to add Florida State. Um, I feel as if there are other teams, we'll get to those in just a second, that would add a lot more value to uh, this conference. And, of course, if Florida State were to come along, you wouldn't want an odd number of teams in the conference, so that would also mean the addition of possibly Clemson. And also, to me, on a side note, Clemson doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me with their proximity to South Carolina. And like I've always said about Clemson Athletics, I understand it's more than just Dabo Sweeney. They won a national championship in the 80s. But outside of Dabo Sweeney, what really is Clemson football? Let me know in the comment section below. So I just don't really understand, um, you know, the push because you see it on social media a lot. Florida State, Clemson, it makes a lot of sense for them to go to the SEC. I just don't really see it. Please feel free to correct me in the comment section below. Now, last thing I'll say about Florida State here, I feel as if 
when you look at the Seminoles and you look at some of the recent success that they have had in football, I have always just kind of felt something off uh, with that athletic program. I don't know exactly why that is. This is just like kind of a gut feeling. Um, A lot of this just reeks of desperation. It really, really, really does. Um, And I understand Florida State is more than just football. Uh, with Mike Martin, they had a lot of sec, uh, sec, <laughs> success in uh, baseball and uh, Leonard Hamilton in basketball. But, man, I, I don't know. Just something here just doesn't feel right. So I hope that is not what happens. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a few schools that I think would actually make a lot of sense for the SEC. Uh, one, I believe, is North Carolina. I would love to add, you know, that level of a basketball program to the SEC. Um, also, North Carolina has had some success in football. Uh, I also wouldn't be opposed to Duke. Obviously, that would raise the academic standing. But North Carolina, to me, makes more sense than Florida State and Clemson. Kind of along the same lines, I would be very interested um, in Virginia, right, or Virginia Tech, either one of those. Um, obviously, both of those uh, athletic brands aren't the absolute biggest, and outside of, you know, some good Beamer years at Virginia Tech, what have they really been um, in, in football? I totally get that, but I would love to have either one of those, and in particular Virginia, uh, from a baseball aspect. The SEC is absolutely loaded in baseball, and Virginia, of course, has a really Really good baseball program. Um, and I'm going to give you one more spicy school at the end of this video. Once again, uh, no edits in this video at all. I'm just going stream of consciousness. I, in fact, don't even know how long uh, this video has been. Right about at seven minutes. Um, I and, and this is where I'm going to get absolutely flamed here. I would not mind Notre Dame. I really wouldn't. I think it would add so much uh, to the conference Um, I I think, obviously, that would be the most radical addition um, ever in the SEC. Texas and Oklahoma kind of fit the culture of the SEC where uh, Notre Dame doesn't. And I just think, obviously, you know, I have some bias here. I think that would add so much to uh, the LSU side of things with, uh, obviously, Brian Kelly. And those two schools have played uh, multiple times in the past decade. I would just love it. I really, really, really would. Um, But, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Would you want Florida State to be in this conference? I am going to go with negative Ghost Rider. (laughs) So, um, yeah, obviously, stream of consciousness. Love doing these kinds of videos. Let me know, okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. I have some fancy edited videos floating in your face right now. Bang! The two sleepers in the SEC that could legitimately win the whole conference. And bang, another video I think you would like as well. It is! Power Hour SEC. Boom! And tonight we are doing... Oh, like some Greek lamb with some tzatziki sauce. Let's go!